All right, good afternoon. I'm Bruce Bulls, technical editor for Workboat Magazine. This afternoon here at the Rainier Shipyard, Foss Maritime's shipyard on the Columbia River, talking with Rick McKenna and Susan Heyman, both from Foss Maritime. Behind us is the Campbell Foss, uh, which is undergoing uh, conversion. Uh, but it's, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the hybrid concept. Susan, this boat has been a conventionally powered tug will become a uh, hybrid power tug. Tell me a little bit about the hybrid concept. Yeah, the hybrid concept is to use power sources appropriately when needed for the job they're doing. And in our case, it's main engines, auxiliary generators, and batteries. Um, and in most cases with a conventionally towered, powered boat, like the Campbell was before, it would transit on its main engines. And now we're gonna transit on generators because that's a more efficient way to do it and when we're just idling we can idle it just off battery power so it's using the power sources efficiently for the job that it's doing which is the same concept we have on our first hybrid boat the Carolyn Dorothy and this will be the first boat to be retrofitted to hybrid but it's really the same concept and that provides what for the operator well there, there's a lot of benefits number one is the emissions benefits uh, and the nice thing about hybrid technology is it reduces all forms of pollution, where some emissions reduction technologies actually will reduce one type of emission but maybe increase something else, like with a fuel pump. The nice thing about hybrid is you're reducing all forms of pollution, the combustion pollution, and also because we're saving fuel, you have uh, less fuel-related emissions. So it reduces all forms of pollution. And the other nice thing about hybrid technology is that there is a payback to the operator in the form of obviously reduced fuel consumption which in our case has been approximately 25 percent and we expect about the same on this boat and also in maintenance savings because we're lengthening the time of overhauls on the main engine because we're not running it as many hours we're you know we predict we'll be running it probably half the time of a conventionally powered boat or how it used to on the on this camel so then we can get maintenance savings in the order of about 30%. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio because we have hybrid components we have to maintain and battery replacement costs, et cetera. But it's been about a 30% on the maintenance side as well. So there is good payback for the operator as well as reducing the emissions, which is, is a major reason for doing it. Now the tug that's behind us here, the Campbell Foss, is one of the Dolphin class tugs, the same as the Carolyn Dorothy, which was the purpose-built hybrid tug. Rick, what are you guys doing to this one to hybridize its uh, power? Well, we're leaving the main engines alone. And then we are we pulled out the, the tail shafts between the main engines and the uh, ASD units, the Z drives, and we're putting in a motor generator between me, each main engine and each Z drive. Um, we're also we also increased the size of one of our two generators, diesel generators. We had 100, 225 horsepower, I mean kilowatt uh, gen sets. We replaced one with a 350 kilowatt unit. The, the, the goal here, as, as Susan mentioned, is to be able to run the boat either as uh, straight diesel using the main engines to drive the, the ASDs or a diesel electric using the generators, the gen sets to drive the ASDs and the main engines are shut off. Or we can also operate it, run it as a straight electric for some minor maneuvering using batteries. Um, all the the, the 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 way it works is you put the motor generator in between the main engine and the ASD. Uh, we have a clutch on the main engine we had to add. So when the boat leaves the dock, for instance, the main engines are shut off. It's clutched out of the system. Power from the generator, diesel generator, uh, comes in through this uh, new hybrid switchboard and is split out to both motor generators that drive the uh, ASDs and. Uh, that's how we transit. When we go to an irregular job, we would uh, turn on the main engines, clutch them in, and, and run the boat kind of as she does now. Uh, one of the big challenges for us is getting all that equipment into what was kind of a small engine room to begin with, and that's uh, that was a big challenge during the design phase, and it's, it's panning out really well here uh, in the shipyard. So how long is working. this whole process taking, and when will it be done, and, and back in Los Angeles and Long Beach? The 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 design, we've been working on this since so, summer of last year pretty much. Uh, the actual modification here in the shipyard is about two months and then we're allowing about a month for 
for uh, commissioning and testing of the system once, once it's back in the water before it goes back down the Long Beach. So this is a process then that could be applied to virtually any harbor tug or yeah. kind of combination tug? And it doesn't even have to be a tug, really, at any boat that has a similar duty cycle where it's a lot of idling, a lot of transiting versus you know, not needing its full power all the time. So, you know, ferries, anchor handling vessels, research vessels. I mean, there's a lot of applications aside from just tugboats. But I would say really only almost any harbor tug has a very similar duty cycle to what this boat has, so it would be a good candidate for hybrid. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Congratulations and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks. Thanks.